Did you know Amazon has a free repricer? Now, it's not the most intuitive thing, but once you learn how to use it, it's one of the best tools that you can use to help you grow your sales. What's up? My name is Michael. I live on the road full time and I sell things online full time. In this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how you can utilize that tool so you can go ahead and grow your sales as well. And that starts right now. Here's the gimmick. The trick isn't what you heard, it's what you hear it. In this video, we're going to be talking about Amazon's automate pricing feature. Now you might hear other people say repricer, repricer and Amazon's automate pricing is exactly the same thing. So if I use those interchangeably, just that's exactly what that is. And I apologize. We're going to be talking about the benefits of the repricer. We're going to be talking tips and tactics. I'm also going to share with you how you can use the repricer with inventory lab. If that's a software that you like to use also stick around for the end of the video, cause I'm going to share with you some bonus tips as well. Before we get started down below, there are chapters. I have free resources for you links to everything that I'm talking about and free downloads. All of that is down in the description below. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'm sharing everything that I know about selling online. So let's get right into this tutorial. What is a repricer? Automate pricing is a tool to adjust your prices quickly and automatically against your competition to increase your chance of becoming a featured offer. Some of the benefits include saving you money. Why spend hundreds or thousands of dollars each month to reprice your products? Automate pricing is free for Amazon sellers. Also with the repricer, you can do more. Managing your pricing can be a full-time job. Automated pricing rules allow you to focus on other aspects of your business and you can get more sales. Sharp pricing improves your chances of becoming the buy box featured offer, increasing your visibility and potential sales. I don't think it's fair to only talk about benefits of the repricer. I think it's also fair to talk about some of the downsides and here are some of them. It is very limited, but basics are okay. I sell books, CDs and DVDs on Amazon and the basics is all I need. If you need something a little bit more complicated, which I'll talk about in a moment, then you might want to look at other options. But for just the basics, it's totally fine. It's not the easiest thing to figure out at first, but once you figure it out, you know what buttons to click, you're going to be repricing things in less than a minute. Trust me. Another downside is it's not initiated automatically. And I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. And lastly, this is for API sellers, sellers who use third party applications to sell on Amazon might have trouble maintaining the buy box because prices adjust based on when your API updates. If you're not entirely sure what I'm referencing, that's totally fine. I'm just going to talk about it briefly for those API sellers. And then we're going to get right into the tutorial and I'll show you exactly how to set up your auto repricer there on Amazon. If you're an API seller and you're doing stuff like drop shipping and you're using a third party website to update things like the quantity and the price of your item this is what I'm referencing so for example if your distributor sells you something for a hundred dollars and your software you have it automatically mark up that price 100% now the price that you have listed on Amazon is $200 you can set your repricer on Amazon to be 5% below your listed price that adjusts the price to $190. Let's say your API updates because the quantity changes and let's say it updates once every hour, once a day, however many times your API updates or your software updates, let's say it just updates and that's going to shoot your price back up to $200. Your price is no longer going to stay at $190. It's going to shoot up to $200. Amazon doesn't really like that. If you have your price, it's going down and then it's going up and going down and then going up every time your API updates. And again, if it happens every hour, it's going to kind of mess with its algorithm and you're most likely not going to get the buy box because your price is dropping, going up, dropping, going up, dropping and going up. Now that we got that out the way, let me show you the repricer on Amazon. First thing you're going to want to do is log into your Amazon seller central profile. Finding the automate pricing feature on Amazon is relatively simple, but Getting it all set up at first is the kind of the complicated part. There's a few steps and I'm going to show you just where you're going to be able to find it. And then I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to make sure your products are being priced properly. So on the top left in seller central, you'll see the option menu here. Click that scroll down till you get to pricing and you'll see the option here for automate pricing. Click on that. Amazon has preset competitive pricing rules that you can go ahead and use, which is what we use for our items. You can see that we have 1,092 currently right now that are active and that are being priced right now through their competitive pricing rule. You can actually set up your own custom rules and the way that you do that is by clicking this button over here. And you'll see here on the left that you have quite a few different options. Now you can't necessarily change anything within this. That's what I was saying before that it's kind of like the basics you can create what you want within their parameters and the way that these are all explained are actually over here on the right. So if you wanted to go a little bit more in depth and learn a little bit more about what these different pricing rules are that they've created, 
You can click over here, read these, and find out whether or not these are gonna work for you in your business. However, I just wanna show you the basics because you can see here that I don't use those other rules because I'm mostly just selling CDs, DVDs, and books on this platform. I just need the bare minimum, I just need the basics. In order for you to initiate the auto pricing feature for your inventory, you have to go over here to the right, click Edit SKUs. Within this page, you'll see it has options for in other pricing rules, in this pricing rule, not in any pricing rule, minimum pricing rule, maximum, and pause. Let's say you send in 100 items into Amazon, the Amazon FBA, and you want to reprice those, and you're not sure which ones you want to click on, just click not in any pricing rule, and then a whole list of whatever inventory you have is going to be here. I haven't sent anything in uh, recently. I mean, last week I sent in stuff, and I've already repriced it before I made this video, unfortunately, so I'm not going to be able to show you any of that, but I can still show you what these look like. Another thing about this page, unfortunately, you can only show up to 50 items Per page. So if you have a thousand listings, 2,000, 3,000, whatever it might be, you can only show up to 50 results per page. But honestly, it's not that bad because if you're going to reprice things and you need to find the things that you just sent into Amazon, just click on not in any pricing rule and then all of those will pop up. One of the things that Amazon doesn't tell you, you have to set a minimum price. If you have an item that does not have anything listed here, you're not gonna be able to set that. In order for you to initiate your auto pricing feature, you have to set it up. So over here on the right, you'll see that it says take action. Let's say I wanted to just do this one item. We can click the down arrow here, and based on the rules that you have created, you can assign to a rule, competitive price rule by Amazon. Once I hit that button, it's gonna say, it's gonna take up to 15 minutes. You can do all of them all at once. You can do just one at a time. So for me, what I'll do is when I send in a whole bunch of items, I'll put not in any pricing rule. I'll select all of them to take action over here, or you can do bulk action up here on the top left, hit competitive pricing rule, and it's gonna do that for you. But you have to set a minimum price. You can do that within this page. You can set the price to your minimum however you want it. If you want it to be you know, $15.99, you can do that. You can also set it up by a percentage from your current listed price. Let me show you how you can do that. Select the item that you want to reprice. Go to the option menu over here to the right, set minimum and maximum price limits. That's gonna take you to this menu here. And you can see here, it says set minimum and maximum price limits, base your minimum, maximum prices on. You don't have to have a maximum, but you can, because sometimes if your item goes up too high, Amazon will remove your listing for uh, quote unquote price gouging. But if you wanna set it 5% below your listed price, go over here to the top right of this option, click change. You can do 5%, you can do 10%, whatever it might be. And then from there, click save and then start repricing. It's going to make that adjustment and you can see it's going to take like 10, 15 minutes for all of this to update, but it's going to set that minimum price for you. However, you can also do it on the manage inventory page. Let me show you where that is as well. If you're finding this helpful, consider subscribing and giving this video a like. The engagement really helps me out. And let me know down below if this repricer has helped you or if there's anything you'd like me to show you about selling online. When you're in your seller central and you go to manage my inventory, which is you know the option up here, hit the option, go down to inventory, go to manage inventory, select that. That's this page right here. I love this page. There's a lot of things that you can do from this page. And one of the things is your minimum and maximum. If you do change your minimum price through all of the items that you have here on this menu, it will save over to the automate pricing feature. I just wanted to show you that sometimes you can set the minimum over here, you can set the minimum over there. Either way, in order for you to actually use Amazon's repricer, you have to have a minimum so that way it has a gauge of where to go. Here's one of the downsides to Amazon's repricer. Let's say you're uploading a product, which I can go ahead and I can kind of demonstrate for you right now. If you were selling this book and you were listing it on Amazon's website, you can write in your standard price and your list price. So we'll just put it at $12.98 and whatever. Let's just say, you know, list price is $12.98. Um, you put your quantity and so on. One, you put your condition, used good. And you can hit I will ship it myself or Amazon will ship and provide customer service. Notice that there isn't a place for you to put your minimum and your maximum within listing this item. You can go to more attributes over here on the top right. And even here, you still don't have a place to put your minimum and your maximum. It's kind of frustrating. What you have to do is actually save and finish and then go back to your manage inventory and then you'll find your minimum and maximum here. Now, I wanna share with you a tip. Things that's gonna make listings so much easier. As you list these things on Amazon, notice when I put a price here of $14.99, there's nothing telling me, oh, okay, well, if you bought it for this amount, 
you know, this is how much you could potentially make after fees and all of that stuff. Amazon does have those capabilities, but it's also in a completely different screen and it's somewhere else entirely. And if that's something you want me to show you, let me know down in the comments below as well. They have a calculator, but Inventory Lab makes that whole process just so much easier and way more streamlined. Inventory Lab is one of the best softwares that you can use to list things on Amazon. It is unbelievable. They have a free 30 day trial. There's more information down in the description below. I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up the auto pricing through Inventory Lab. Here's one of the great things about this platform that Amazon doesn't do that doesn't make it super simple. So let's say this book that I might be selling. Let's say I wanted to sell it used for, I don't know, we'll just click $42.99. It's going to tell me that if I bought this for a dollar, that I would make a net profit of $28.11. How would I know over on Amazon's platform what to set my minimum if I don't know the net profit? Now, these numbers are quite large. These are quite drastic, but let's just set it for $11.98. It's saying my net profit is $1.75. So if I wanted to, I could set my minimum price for $11.98. 98 and now I know and I can set this up a little bit higher if I wanted to do it that way Now that's not a pricing strategy by any means This is just an example and if you want to see how I price books CDs DVDs Let me know down in the comments below and I can make a video about that as well However, the point of this is to show you that you can set your minimum here You can look at your net profit You can see what your return on investment is your ROI You can see that if I bought it for a dollar and I sold it for $14.99, my ROI is going to be 431%. Once you have all of your items listed and you send all this information over to Amazon, all that information is gonna be in your managed inventory and it's automatically going to have the minimum price set up. And if you put a maximum, it's gonna have that information set up as well, which makes that whole process so much easier. So all you need to do is once all this is sent over to Amazon's website, go to the option menu, go to pricing, automate pricing, then go through the whole thing that I just showed you, do bulk action and just add all of them to the minimum price. Now you don't have to be so nervous about what is the net profit going to be. Inventory Lab makes that whole process just so much easier and way more streamlined. And it also makes setting up that auto pricer really fast. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'm sharing everything that I know about selling on the eBay platform and selling online. Consider checking out my most recent video right here and also this other video that's recommended for you right here. Click on one of those two options and I'll see you over there. I'm returning to my habits and my roots. The only difference is the way I'm going at it when I move. Cause I'll pop through your TV screen, pop through your